But the Springboks have gone back to back in Australia, winning 30 points to 12 in round two of the Rugby Championship. Now this game was played in extremely wet conditions at Optus Stadium. Both sides struggling to find their feet early on, but as the match progressed, that's when we started to see the Springboks start to find their rhythm a little bit more and in the end walk away with not just the win, but also the extra bonus points. So now sitting 10 points from a possible 10 on the Rugby Championship table. But in this review, we will be looking through at some of the stats for this contest, the key players who stepped up, and then also what these two sides have coming up in terms of fixtures just around the corner. But in terms of the stats, South Africa having a lot more metres carried, 377 compared to the 211 that we saw from the Wallabies. In the first half, Australia had more defenders beaten, but at full time, it was 12 to 10 in favour of the South Africans. Six clean breaks for South Africa compared to the three of the Australians. And then when it comes to the tackling, pretty even. 118 tackles made by Australia, 121 by South Africa. So this game as a whole, with the rain, it meant that both of the sides had to go with a slightly different game plan than what they initially would have wanted to go with had it been a dry contest. Australia were trying a lot of cross kicks early on and none of them were really working. South Africa were all over them. Makazoli Mapimpi almost gifted a try near the start of the game. And the thing that was very evident from the get-go is any mistake Australia were making, South Africa were pouncing on the opportunity and getting extremely close to scoring. If it wasn't for a couple handling errors, we could have seen the score go a lot closer to the 50 mark rather than the 30. But we saw four tries scored by South Africa in this game. The first of which scored by Apalele Fassi. It was a grubber in behind from Makazoli Mapimpi. Fassi scoring it in the corner. And that was the only try that we saw throughout the the first half in the second half, we saw Marco van Staden score off a rolling maul. Malcolm Marks, the super sub, made his way off the bench and scored twice, both off rolling mauls. So if you're New Zealand and you're Argentina, you are looking at those games up against the Springboks and saying we need to learn how to stop that rolling maul because it was dominating throughout this game for the box. And Australia never really found an answer for it. And that was one of the main areas that Australia really did struggle in throughout this competition, but they were unable to score themselves a try. So that is now three games in a row up against the South Africans that they have scored one or less tries. So really need to find a way of being more clinical in the future. Definitely up against Argentina. They are hitting their necks for the rugby championship. They have to score points and they have to score a lot of them to get those wins. But key players, I thought that Peter Stefta Toy and Marco van Staden both did extremely well in that loose forward trio. I thought that Ruan Nokia, he seemed very busy throughout the match, which they did have the early change at lock. Selma Murat going from the field, Ibn Itzabeth making his way on to replace him. But Ruan Nokia just in there most of the time. Lineouts, he was putting the pressure on the Australian lineout, which is always going to be shaky in these type of conditions. But both sides did experience that in terms of the wetness out there on the field. In the backs, I would say that Makazoli Mapimpi overall, I thought, had a very solid game. Someone who didn't quite have the game that a lot of people anticipated, though. Sasha Feinberg Ngume Zulu. He struggled big time. He kicked the ball out on the full. He dropped the ball often. Missed a couple tackles. And Mornay Vandenberg on the inside. His first international start for the Springboks. He, too, wasn't quite able to step up to that level that they would have been hoping. So now I am extremely curious, what type of lineup are we going to get to see up against the All Blacks? It is only in two weeks' time. Springboks on home soil, taking on the ABs. For Argentina and Australia, they will be playing in Argentina. And Australia, the only side at the moment, yet to win a game of the rugby championship. South Africa, the only side yet to lose one. But thank you all very much for tuning into this post-match review. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know who you would give Man of the Match to, as well as what you thought of this game as a whole. Who impressed you? Who let you down? Do let me know in the comments. But thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all for the next one.